Many of the problems that young people speak to Childline about start here in the school playground. This is Mark's story and the story of the school bullies who made his life a misery for over four months. It's the miniature mincer midget. Maybe we should plant them in the garden and see if it grows. I'm going to water this and see if it grows. See you later, Titch. As well as being quite small, Mark was also very clever. He did well in tests and exams. Another reason why the bullies disliked him. Show me. Show me now. Ow. Is everything all right, Mark? To say one word and I'll hurt you. Yes, Mr. Campbell. Sorry, Mr. Campbell. Obviously, everything wasn't all right for Mark, but he didn't dare tell anyone in case the bullies found out and really decided to hurt him. Although Mark was suffering at school, at least he was safe at home. Or so he thought. Sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. You're so small. Leave me alone. Oh, shorty crying. Should we ring up Mr. Campbell, see if he can come and kiss it better? Yes, Mr. Campbell. Sorry, Mr. Campbell. I love you, Mr. Campbell. You girly midget. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Bully me because I'm small. Small but perfectly formed, darling. You make sure you stand up to them. Well, stand up as high as you can. <laughs> Take off your shoes. Your dinner's nearly ready. For Mark, that was the last straw. He tried to tell his mum, and even she seemed to be joking about him being small. He needed someone to talk to, anyone who would listen and not make fun of him. And that's when Mark finally plucked up the courage to call Childline. You're through to Childline? Hello? Are you okay? It took over three minutes before Mark was calm enough to even speak to the person at Childline. I'm going to put you straight through to a counsellor. Once he calmed down, he told the counsellor on the phone that he wanted to talk to his mum about how bad the bullying really was but he was worried she wouldn't believe him. The counsellor practised with Mark the conversation he should have with his mum. It meant he felt much more confident about making sure she really understood how he felt. And it worked. His mum was appalled when she found out how much he was being bullied and wanted to call the school. Although Mark was worried this would make things worse, they eventually decided that it was the best thing to do. Mark, this Back at school, Mr. Campbell arranged for two yeah. older boys who this lived near Mark to walk home school, with him okay? and keep him safe. Oi, Boffin! Hi, Mark. Let's go home. The bullying did still happen, but much less than before. And Mark now had friends around to support him. 
Without Childline's help, Mark's misery could have continued for a very long time. For every child that speaks to a counsellor, there are many more left holding in a queue. We need your help to make sure more can get through.